At the start of the PHP bracket, it's a great idea to comment the code. We're going to use aliases or shortened forms of our table names to make our code more efficient and to make our lives easier. C will stand for countries table, R will be our regions table, A will be our animals table, and we've got SR1 and SR2, which are for our subregions. I'm going to give myself quite a bit of space, and inside my find SQL, we're going to begin with the select command, and we're going to say select everything from our countries table. It's extremely important that you're accurate on your table names. So to help you, go into phpMyAdmin, click on the countries table, and copy the name. Then when you create your from statement, you can make sure that you've got the correct country name, remembering that we need to put the shorthand C afterwards so that the computer knows that C is countries. So right now our code says select everything from our countries table. And we very much would like to see if this works. So go inside your while loop and we're going to close off our PHP and then open it again. In the space that we've just made, we can put in some HTML. We can set up a results div, and instead of having country name as text, please open and close a PHP bracket, type in the keyword echo. We can reference our associative array. We need square brackets, single speech marks inside, and a semicolon at the end. To put the country name in, your easiest option is to go into PHP My Admin, and I'm going to click on the country column, copy that, and paste it in. We can then save, and when you preview your, preview your results, it looks suspiciously similar to the documentation from the last video. To put a space between the divs, you can use a break tag, and when you reload, you've got nice spaces between your boxes. As a challenge, see if you can put the official name of the country next to the country name in brackets and italics. Here's how I do it. I go space, and then I'd open up some italics, and inside, I'm going to once again echo out one of my columns. This time round, I want the official name column, and I'm making my life easy by copying and pasting from PHP my admin. And as you can see, I'm close, but I forgot the brackets, and it's easy enough to carefully put them in as such. If you're confident, feel free to create the rest of the layout, putting in placeholder text for where we haven't yet linked, and actual values from the database where it's possible to do so. Here's some code to get you started. And there's a bit more. And as you can see right now, I haven't placed much content in. But I can take a look at the layout and confirm that it's what I want. In the next video, we're going to continue with this process.